Hi, Chuck. This is Christy. Say hello, Christy. Hi, Chuck. How are you? <laughs> We're going to um, show you all the measurements here that uh, are on the drawing. The first one is the screw lifts right here. These are 16 inches from the wall out this way, 16 inches to right here. And then they're 7 inches this way right here. So 16 by 7 clears those perfectly. And they're 38 inches tall. I don't think that measurement matters because the lift's going to go around it, but there it is. There's one on each side, of course. The next measurement here is the beaver tail, uh, the flip down one. You can see a 68 inches to the middle of the crack. And from the back wall to where the wheel well starts to bump out is 53 inches. Then it goes 12 inches till it is fully extended. Then the whole length of it is, how much, Christy? 140 inches. 140 inches overall. And it sticks off the wall. How many inches? Well, we had five and a half, but five. you're counting this one plate too. So. Six inches will clear the uh, wheel well. Total distance in between the wheel wells is 84 and a half inches. And 85 and a half without E track. Without the E track, it's 85 and a half. The E track eats up a half an inch on each side. The total length is. 377 inches from the front to the back of the whole floor and I believe that's 31 foot 5 inch we did convert the we did convert convert the schematic to be all inches so that, just to make it easier we're, we're taking the measure right here a little bump out on the bottom here is four inches we took the, the, the measurement from right here and there is this bump out we put it on the chart here this bump out is uh, roughly two and a half inches and how tall was it? Um, we have, hold on. You can see the bottom of that bump out starts at 28 and a half inches from the floor. 